In this video, we'll help you understand the possibilities and limitations between Archimate and UML regarding process modeling. IT Infrastructure Modeling in UML There are limited possibilities to model infrastructure in UML. The closest one that brings us some look at infrastructure is the deployment diagram. This diagram enables us to model the execution environment for software components. There's no diagram dedicated to pure HW infrastructure and network environment though. IT Infrastructure Modeling in Archimate To model infrastructure, we use Technology Layer. By using elements from this layer, we could model deployment schemes for software as well as execution environments. Also, you have a possibility to very briefly outline networks and connections between hardware and technology services offered to applications or business users like database access or messaging system. UML versus Archimate to compare UML and Archimate, we need to come up with a basic scenario that we try to model in both notations. We would like to see a couple of servers connected to one central switch. There shall be two special servers that host some of the applications in a redundant way to secure we have a backup always available. The UML example. In this model, we use just two elements, device, which is a meta class of node element, and artifact, which depicts a piece of software in an infrastructure environment. We use also simple association and deployment relationships to connect elements together. If you take a look at the Archimate example, you could immediately spot a lot of similarities. This is because the Archimate technology layer was based on some UML elements. Node and device have the same meaning as in UML. The new concept introduced in Archimate is called communication network, which depicts some kind of network organized with a set of structures and protocols. For basic use cases, there's no benefit in choosing UML over Archimate or another way around. However, Archimate allows you to model a bit more thanks to additional elements like communication network, path, or location to show physically how network and infrastructure are organized. The value of Archimate. The main advantage of Archimate is that it allows you to connect multiple architectural domains. That means on one diagram, you could model physical infrastructure interconnections, deployments, and applications that use infrastructure elements. Let's look at an extended Archimate view in which we used both business, application, and technology layers. By combining layers, we know exactly what infrastructure elements and applications are needed to support business functions. Back office team is responsible for four business functions. Those functions are supported by three application components that are a part of a bigger back office suite. The suite itself is stored in two server clusters that are standing in two separate locations. Thanks to Archimate, we could combine multiple domains on one view. UML could be still used to provide details of implementation regarding deployment. However, the same could be achieved using Archimate. Are you interested in expanding your understanding of technologies like Archimate? Be sure to check out our blog for additional insights and also explore our industry-leading training. Visit our site for more information.